So I'm bringing you back to this page that we've already looked at because I want you to remember what you already know about the MHC complex. We've looked at MHC1. It's on, found on all nucleated cells in your body, and it's used to post information about what's going on inside the cell. Well, MHC2 is exactly the same, except it's only found on certain cells, and it's involved in the acquired immune response. So it, almost 100% of the time, MHC2 is somehow involved in activating the acquired immune response. So it's only found on antigen presenting cells. And who are these antigen presenting cells? Well, B lymphocytes are antigen presenters. And we'll talk about how they use their MHC2 platform to be involved in this process. Dendritic cells are antigen presenters. Remember how we added dendritic cells into our list of nonspecific phagocytes? Well, they do their nonspecific phagocytotic good work, and then they post their information on their MHC2 platform and use that to activate T cells. What? How cool is that? And then um, I think I said macrophages. Macrophages are also antigen presenters. So they can actually go around and activate um, acquired immune cells. Okay, so we've got these certain cells that have an MHC2 platform. We've got everybody else who has the MHC1, and we really do need to keep those separated. Now we're going to buckle down, and we're going to look at the humoral immune response. We're going to go from start to finish. We're going to start with our little naive, little naive guy, and we're going to work our way through all the things that are involved in that humoral immune response, knowing that most of it is going to be about the B cells. Okay, so let's do that, shall we?